ascend Mount Olympus, strip these callous gods of their power, and cast down Zeus from his lofty throne. Stand up to the cruel deities of Olympus, and earn your people's salvation. Or remain here, without the gifts of the gods, and watch your world turn to ashes. Honestly speaking, I don't need an ultimatum to kill Zeus and his gods. I mean, killing the Greek pantheon just feels right. By mandate of Zeus, father of gods and men, king upon the mountain, the Olympian gates are open to all deities who seek refuge here. Though your domains on earth lie in ruin, Zeus welcomes you into his home during this time of transition. Once the mortal issue has been resolved, you will all be free to return to the Earth. As guests of Zeus's hospitality, strict adherence to his laws is expected. Violence and theft will be met with the wrath of Olympus. I mean, it would sure suck if some random mortal were to just waltz in and kill everybody, right? Find the Sheep of Demeter, and um, this is... Find the Lyre of Apollo, and that must be... Find the Bow of Artemis. Okay, so these are gods I probably have to kill. I mean, right now I haven't started anything, so... Olympus should be quite peaceful. I mean, this is a place of gods and deities, so this, should, this place should be peaceful and... Harmony and all fun and stuff, right? Right? The deity's house needs a better locking mechanism. This mortal chick can just walk in with a simple lockpick. Except for this excessive amount of a Zeus statue, a uh, deity's house should be quite nice, right? What's this? Is this a prison? Are those two crying? Thanks, Zeus. Were you two prison? Why are you guys naked? Fine. You guys are. Free you guys were naked in a Thanks. prison. Uh oh. Oh, I'm not here to take, I'm here to give. I'm here to pass divine judgment. As soon as I figure out how to fight again, you are toast, my guy. Die! In the name of gentlemen all over the world, consent a sexy. Holy shoot these dogs of yours. Oh. Freaking. Are you sure these guys aren't related to Cerberus? Leave me alone! No, you were the wife of a rapist and you were okay with that and for that you're gonna die. I hope the police of Olympus doesn't find out. Halt! You have broken the laws of Olympus. Pay tribute or submit to the judgment of Zeus. I don't answer to any gods. Up yours, you puny! Well, this is awkward. I am Helios, and the sun was once my prized treasure. But that snake Apollo stole it from me and imprisoned me down here. Helios. Well, he's been many times betrayed as just as a big asshole like the rest of them. He is the Greek god of the sun. While Apollo is more associated with being the god of civilization and art, they are both somehow affiliated with the sun. And this has led to conflict. He has broken my body. Never again will I stand upon the burning chariot. Apollo is a powerful god. Any who stand against him are destroyed. Or worse. But I think I can help you. First you must escape this horrible place. I know of a secret passage. Unfortunately for me, all these years, it's been under your cell, not mine. Take these, my last slivers of sunlight. It will open the wall. Excellent. Now, escape from this prison. Does this mean we're friends with Helios? I'm pretty sure this is an explosive. What's the... The gods seriously didn't hear that? Can I free Helios? Pretty sure I would like to have Helios' help. I don't know, but taking down the god sure isn't going to be easy. Is this Helios' cell? No. Is this Helios' cell? Is it 
you, stranger. Nope. Some help is better than nothing, so uh I guess goodbye. Get to get you guys some weapons. Can somebody pick that up? Oh. Well this ain't good. Uh oh. Wait. Guys, dodge! Don't just Oh, for the love of oh now they are so going to die. Are they dead already? Dang it, this is why you Oh. Oh, they're dead already! You guys are useless! Well, I guess it's just you and me. Brontes, one of the three Cyclops that granted Zeus his lightning. Though I am confused, many has depicted them as the three-headed Cyclops. But in this, it would seem that Brontes is his own Cyclops. Which begs the question, where are the other two? Brontes, your Cyclops body may have impressive strength. But, I'd rather have two working eyes than one. Ow. That eye will be your downfall. You should have known better but to trust Zeus, Brontus. Giving him that lightning was only your second biggest mistake. Only second for challenging me. If you had been with your brothers, you might have stood a chance. My friend, you're alive! I escaped in the confusion you made. But we're not out of the woods yet. If you seek to defeat Apollo, there are ways to tilt the scales. Find the nymph Daphne in Apollo's garden. She carries a deep hatred and will help you more than I can. Finally, Apollo's trusted lieutenants will guard him with their lives. Put an end to them before they can make such a selfless sacrifice. Go! Free my precious son from that villain's grasp! I see, I see. Now, why couldn't you help with that Cyclops? Not that he was a challenge or anything. The Nymph Daphne. I honestly don't know much about you, but I know about the Nymph. Hello, Daphne. What? I see, you're a thirsty woman. The Nymph Daphne was once a gentle creature of nature. But of course, with Greek gods, that wouldn't last long. Apollo. Mesmerized by her beauty, wanted her for his own. Alas, turning even the most gentle of creatures into vengeful ones. Daphne dear, I want you to know how much of a hassle this was. Now drink up and give me the good stuff. Hello? Thank you, stranger. I see you bear no love for Apollo or his servants. Ah, Apollo! Even in this wooden armor, I cannot escape his lechery. When I was a naiad, he pursued me in the forest. Just before I fell prey to his lust, I prayed for mercy and was transformed into this laurel tree. Then what does he do? He tears me from the earth and plants me in his private gardens. Every day he comes to caress my branches. I am forever sick of his leering face and spidery fingers. An enemy of Apollo is clearly an ally of mine. Take this ward, an echo of Helios's brilliance. Though he may think otherwise, Apollo does not command all that is bright in this world. And here I thought that Zeus was the biggest creep of them all. Damn Apollo, close second. Now to take out Apollo's most faithful guardsmen, or captains. I think I'm prepared. Apollo, wise one, your oracles force clear thought upon the desperate. I praise and honor you. You like Apollo so much, may I introduce you to this guy called Hades? Man, it's difficult to use these arrows. Stand still. You dodged that? Okay, hand to hand it is. Captain of Light. Not too much, I see. Even if you are deities, you are nothing but nameless gods. Nameless God have no followers. How can you have power without any fate? Now, be forgotten with time. Always, this gives me an idea. Okay, let's make this plan A. Oh, Apollo! Okay, asshole or not, he kinda good with that harp. Didn't know he was such a fan of dolphins, but... Have you no patience for a slow death? 
I ought to flay every last one of those inept guards for letting you traipse about like that. A pity you already put them to the sword. Well, now you have your audience with the God of the Sun. The God of flawless music. The God of glorious civilization itself. And there you slouch. A sweaty, dirty creature in the shape of a god. Uncivilized. Undeserving. Unenlightened. Alone in the dark. Well, guess what can light up in the darkest of night? Explosive, uh, sir. Ow. That did not go as planned. The gods gift you with knowledge and civilization to free you from your savage roots. But time and time again, you've come up failing. Oh, that's low, even for you, Apollo. Don't start stealing credit. You were against giving man even the slightest bit of knowledge. Prometheus is the one who gave man fire, which enraged your gods. Now you're claiming credits for something you were originally against? Oh, how far the gods have fallen. I've already vanquished you. you Another mistake you gods never learned from. Mortals are aware that they can make those mistakes, therefore they learn to double tap. You guys should take some inspiration. Run away, almighty oh god of the sun. Who are you, hermit? I thought gods didn't fear mortals. You're a coward. See why you're a fake? Why is the god of sun getting hurt by fire? You are nothing but a pretentious- Oh, that's bombs. Know this, Apollo. One day mortals will create bombs far more powerful than this. By the way, I meant to ask. Helios, at least compared to you, is a much lesser spoken of gods compared to you. Why even bother taking him out? Are you afraid that he will replace you? Let me enlighten you. Your enlightenment are shit just like your personality. I just want to say I had a fun time speaking with Daphne. Okay, role playing aside, I'm starting to run out of weapons and potions, so if you can stop running around, that would be perfect if you could. You dare to touch the sun? Oh, be quiet. Sooner, humans will learn how to create flames or plasma far harder than the center of the sun. Hate it as much as you wish, the mortals will soon surpass you. Oh? Finally decided to start the running? Finally started to- oh, guess I spoke too soon. I'm getting tired of this game, Apollo. You're the god of civilization and arts. Stop pretending to be Ares or even Hercules. You're way out of your depth. When you get down to Tartarus, tell Hades I will be coming for him too. This is only the beginning. And with that, Berkscout have been slain. Do we get any special... Ooh, the Liar of Apollo. Give the blah 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 blah. Yeah, who cares. It's an awesome thing. Now we gotta... Ooh, which gods? Maybe we should check out Demeter next. She shouldn't be too difficult, right? disturbs the sorrow of my house. Demeter, the one who breathes life into nature. The gentle god who cherishes her own daughter more than anything else. But mesmerized by the daughter's beauty, the god of death Hades wanted her for his own and took her to Tartarus, leaving behind a saddened Demeter who left her godly duty and left the world to the priests. A mortal, come to us for my blessings of growth, I suppose? Alas, I can no longer give such gifts. The fields of men shall forever lie fallow. Zeus has split the heavens from the earth, mortals from gods. Even if I were to break the Edict of Zeus, I only hold half the solution. 
My powers lie with the ripening of things already set in motion. The power of new life, of spring, I gave to my precious daughter, Persephone. She reigns far below with Hades, Lord of the Dead. There she will stay, as Zeus commands. The sweet touch of spring will never bless the soil again. Wait, so it's not Demetia I had to fight? I had to fight Hades? This early? <laughs>